Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. Let's see what we have for you today concerning love. What do we have for the sign of Pisces, please, concerning love? Well, in the past, things started to turn in your favour. This wheel of fortune, it keeps on turning regardless of what we try to do. <laughs> the person you're connected to you feel like you were just going around in circles. Second, third, fourth, fifth chances. It would go quiet. They would contact you. Same scenario. Promises, etc., etc. And it went down the same path. Slowly but surely, I feel there was a codependency here that switched. I feel you became less codependent on this person, you became less reliant on this person, and you kind of decided you needed to consider your feelings, what was actually going on, and where you actually wanted to be in life. So you kind of withdrew from this. Hmm. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, the death card. Transformation. I feel you ended it. You are in the process of letting it go. And, you know, you're becoming illuminated in the sense that you're realising your true worth, you're realising that the dependency on this person was not necessarily a reality. Some of it was, you know, you were controlled by your emotions and your thoughts and your whatever else was going on, you was kind of swept away in the moment. You're coming into, believe it or not, a happier phase in your life, you know, where you are beginning to see your true worth you know, this person was wearing a mask. You know, they weren't backing up what they were saying. All these sorts of things were going on. And it just, I feel for you, it just got too complicated. You know, there's this... You're letting it go. You're letting it go. The world card. Wow. Wow. Now, I feel you're going to be faced with a decision, a final decision. You know, there's a decision here, but you're not quite ready. You know, you, there's so much going on, both internally and externally, that you're, you're just not quite ready to finally let go. But I'm getting here, finally letting go. And with this Wheel of Fortune and the World card, that's the end of a cycle, beginning of a new one. New things are opening up, new opportunities. Wouldn't surprise me if somebody new hasn't come on the scene. Feelings are developing. You're finally coming into balance with yourself and your situation. You could well have met a, an air sign such as an Aquarian. Things are looking better. I'm getting travel and distance here. Now, for a small percentage of you, I'm getting that this past person will try and come back. But I feel you're just outgrowing that person anyway. You know, you'll probably get a few answers you need. But either way, you're kind of feeling on a roll. You're feeling things are progressing better. Let's see. Just be careful what you wish for, because new opportunities come in, you know, and as old cycles end, new ones begin. You know, things do manifest. The universe does listen to you, believe it or not, and it does manifest. So be careful what you're thinking and feeling, because, you know, something will manifest, but in not necessarily in the form you think. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know, like I say, things turn in your favour. And finally, after a load of delays, you were able to start to follow your true heart's desire. And I feel you, you kind of did move on. You did move on. You know, with this... This death card, you know, it came with a load of setbacks. You know, you were struggling, it was erratic, it was in and out, you know, you felt you like you were being there for this person's convenience. And, you know, I feel communication opened up and it kind of, from something new, from something new. And it gave, it's giving you the chance to finally put the past to rest. Either way, now I'm getting a lot of communication coming in and suddenly, yes, the possibility to travel. So there could be communication coming in from distance, but it's coming towards you pretty fast. And there's healing here. There's all sorts going on. It's a bit of a mixed bag, I'm afraid. And it's something you can't force. You've just got to pass through it. And I know that can be painful, frustrating. But I'm getting you're able to put the karma from the past down. But either way, I feel you're going to form a new bond with somebody. It could be a soulmate you're dealing with. And as I say, finally coming into a peaceful resolution. Now, it's kind of two scenarios here. One where the past comes back and you sort it out and you decide whether you want to go forward with this the settling the karma bringing peace or something new coming in which enables you to finally let go of the past either way you're on kind of a win-win situation now i'm getting that somewhere along the line you've called called somebody's bluff you know a lot lot was spoken and finally, you're, you're saying to somebody, okay, don't just speak it, do it. Interesting. Let's just get you one Moonology card here on this reading. Can we have one Moonology card, please, on this reading? There you go. A personal issue reaches a resolution. Full moon in Cancer. June, July. You see, you come into terms with yourself. And this is around now. And even if you've not fully recovered from this, which I get in a few of you would, you haven't. You're still going through the middle of this. It depends on where you are on your karmic line. The fact remains, you wouldn't be watching me if everything was all hunky-dory. But, you know, going towards the end of the year... You know, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So, yes, it's whatever this is you're going through, it's it's coming to a conclusion. And by the end of this year, Capricorn energy, that is, you know, which is December, January, according to my little chart here. So you got from kind of now to the end, this whole process, this transition is taking place. By the end of the year, you'll know where you're at. Either way, you'll be able to make a decision on which way to go. It's looking good. Thank you for watching.